Yes, 46 is Brittany Eddy continues our live team coverage at Grady Hospital, where again we heard from police Brittany that the officer who was shot in the face is in stable condition. Yeah, that's right, Rick. In fact, Police Chief Rodney Bryant with APD, he just spent about the half past half hour or so with that officer and his family and loved ones inside Grady Memorial Hospital right behind me. I'm told they had a lengthy conversation that even though, of course, you know, he is under some medication, he still was able to hear the police chief. They had some conversations. Bryant said he told the officer that he was very proud of him. He also said that he really wants to let the public know that this just shows, you know, the bravery of Atlanta police officers and their commitment to the job every single day. Um, you know, we also saw uh, more officers coming and going throughout the past few office hours, rather, from both uh, APD and also at uh, other Metro Atlanta jurisdictions. This officer, while his identity still has not yet been released because the department says they want to show respect to him and his family right now, we do have some new information about him. We know that he has been, you know, with this department for about two years, a little more than two years, the chief says. We also saw early or his uh, partner leaving the hospital, uh, very emotional. We saw a very, you know, solemn, of course, look on his face. The chief also told us during this press conference that he was going to go and meet with his partner next. Reporting live outside of Grady Memorial Hospital, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Brittany. Governor Kemp responding to the shooting with a tweet. The governor is saying that he and his family are praying for the officer and that Georgia stands with the brave men and women who protect us every day. We will continue to follow the story as it develops tonight. Download the CBS 46 streaming app to get breaking news alerts sent directly to your smartphone. Now 